be the pen, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the pen, that's what they call me Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jay and I'm here with my husband Trey, the infamous Trey 504 boy to the day I D.I.E. I just had to put that oh, out there, you know. You had to go but extra mile. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's all right. right. But look, how y'all doing, everybody? Welcome to Real Hicks family. And we on our way today to take care of a few things and also go check out a few um, stores. You going shopping. Yeah, man. But the topic of today is the do's and don'ts of, of a relationship. relationship. So we're going to talk about what to do and not to do in relationships. But before we go ahead and get into that, I need y'all to make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And make sure you hit that bell. So when you subscribe, hit the bell. If you already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell next to the subscribe button. So that way you can stay up to date with the real Higgs family. Man, because you know them videos be on point. They be on yes. topic. And man, look, the, the food. Oh, my God. You getting. Watch the video. Yes. And we got some more good recipes coming. And some more good drinks. Because, you know, that's what we about. You know what, man? I just feel like we driving right now, man. I feel like I got a lot of eyes on us right now, man. I, I just feel like I got to do something. Yeah, I got to do something to stop that. What you got to do? Because you know I is always on you. Hey, you got to put some shades on so you, you know, you see them, but they don't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Only you. Yeah. But today's topic is going to be the do's and don'ts of relationships. So we just going to talk about major key points of what to do in a relationship and what not to do in a relationship don't worry about it fellas i ain't gonna drop drop the beans too bad but i want to tell you right now man look we've been married what Since uh june, last year. june so the july august september October, so. nine months nine months man time flies but it cannot work unless both of y'all are ready to exactly. commit 110 percent Yes. The worst thing that we can do is try to hold on to that baggage. I feel like that's the first topic. The first topic you got to attack. Go. Look, man, whether it's mm -hmm. old flings, old one times, it yesterday has, girls, whatever, man. Look. Let the bygones be the bygones. <laughs> Look, man. Mm -mm. I can talk about it because I've been there. I'm going to tell you right now. I've been there. I've done that. But I will say I was 100% ready to commit all the way through, which is why we married today. Exactly. I can honestly say we have not had one issue with who's that girl, why she calling you, who's that dude, why he's calling you. Why? Because by the time we made the commitment to be together, it was understood and not only that we're very open in our relationship i trust him 100 100 completely he trusts me 100 percent completely and i got another another one i want to hit on that's really gonna hit home come on with it. come on with but, it. come on with it. I, i'm gonna talk about this baggage like women we gotta let go of the baggage of what some random guy Man. that you dated yeah. hey, I got did to you and you still holding on carrying it to the new relationship. Like it don't work like that. Check this out. If you ain't seen that Tyler Perry movie said you trying to taste that 20 looking for that 80. The 80-20 rule. Look, man, I will yeah. honestly say this. There is not a human being on earth that is going to please you 100% of your, of, of anything. It's not going not to happen. Work. If you can get close to that 80, you, better, you keep better keep it. Because look here, man. Sometimes beauty is within. I ain't, I ain't, I'm gonna just say it like that. I'm gonna say it real lightly. Because what you run across right now, especially from a male standpoint, we run after these video vixens, these big booties, this, that, and the third. And Look, everything, damn near they everything. head gone. They don't know nothing about nothing. You can't have a 
I'm gonna use this term somebody told me, you can't have a level A conversation with a level C or D person. And if you don't understand that, comment below. I'll give you my email. We can talk about it all day long. Because look here, <laughs> I'm level A. <laughs> you heard me? You heard me? Yes. But I just think it's important for women to let go of that baggage. Like you carrying on what your ex and did to you, what, two years ago? And you could have found Mr. Right and you still hold known to Mr. Rowe and all the bull that he done did. Like, your relationship is not going to prosper with you carrying that baggage because you're going to keep blaming your new boo. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to keep blaming him about everything that the old one did. Yeah, please. Believe. And he's not that guy. Now, I guarantee you, ladies, you're going to run across a couple of dogs, but, I mean, you got to... What, what, am I, what am I trying to say? You gotta learn how to weed that out, man. Exactly. You gotta learn how to weed that out. Cause like I just said before, there's nobody that you're gonna meet that's going to please every single aspect of your life. You got some that gonna come close, but I promise you there's some baggage behind it. There's no perfect person walking this earth. There's perfect people that can be together. Yeah, there's some people that don't need to look, be together. Anybody, I'm going for married one time, that's it. This is the only woman that's been my last name. And I promise you it's gonna be the only because why? I'm committed in my heart. Once you make them vows before God, that's it. You're gonna pay for it if you try to dip out, man. It may not come back to she cheating on you or whatever the case may be, but I promise you. If she don't know, that's one person that's always gonna know what's going on. That man upstairs know what it is. Believe that. And everything that is done in the dark will eventually come to light. Cause you can't get away with it forever. Yeah. You may think you can because you you being real clever and sneaky about it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna come to like Hey, hey, but hold on. They say women are better cheaters than men though. So <laughs> let's just kind of tip on that for a second. We're gonna dip in and dip out real fast. You feel oh, me? Oh, you wanna dip in and dip I out? I wanna dip in and dip out. You feel me? I, I okay. gotta keep my hands on. I'm on 99 in Texas. <laughs> yeah, though. You feel me? So look here, man. I will say from a personal standpoint, and you uh -huh. can let me know about your background, you feel me? Uh -huh. I ain't never say I've been cheated on, but I'm gonna say I have never caught the person cheating on me. So with that being said, I would probably have to go on Merrill Porridge or something like that, get a lot of tickets <laughs> or something like that, but I'm gonna say it like this here, man. <laughs> Fellas, we don't know how to do it right. They know how to do it, man. I, I can't confirm nor deny if it happened to me. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But my, my guilty conscience gonna always say they was doing something because I know what the hell I was doing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Man, way back then, long, 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 long time ago, long, 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 long time ago. Yes. Well, I can't confirm nor deny that I've ever cheated on uh, anybody. Oh no! Don't give, give me the juice, girl. Give me the juice. Give me the juice, give me the juice. We ain't gotta drop no name. We ain't gonna drop no name. You feel me? Any accusations in this video. But I will say, mm. women uh. are more uh. clever uh. when it comes to cheating. Uh. Men, you guys get careless, you guys get reckless. Okay, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. okay. All right, damn. That's hurt when you gotta take the truth like that. Like I, I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing, man. God. And then y'all date like okay. This is what I understand. Y'all step out and cheat. Number one, y'all downgrade. I mean, if you gonna cheat, you might as well upgrade. I'm just saying. But <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I seen that. I'm but all the truth. I'm saying is. You said I do. Anyway. What's your last name? Ah! <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> Got him! I don't like him. All right. Go ahead, babe. I'm sorry. But, like I was saying, men cheat. Y'all downgrade. And y'all get with these women. I don't know what y'all be feeling they head up with or this, that, and the third. Like... 
may be calling at random times. Mm. They want to send you text messages at all hours of the night. Right. That's how y'all be getting caught up. Like, Wait, all right, 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 all right. And y'all telling them. We got them other topics. Ahead. We got other Be topics said. we got to go over. I ain't going to have you deep. Yeah, you're going, going too deep, deep man, because I feel like I can't right. clap back, you feel me? Well, let's just slide that to the side. Really. All right. So what else you got, man? But I forgot exactly. That's alright, cause I got you back, like for life. You feel? You feel? I got you. So check this out. The second in my book and do's and don'ts is understanding if that's your number one, number two, or whatever the case may be after that, because after that it really don't even make, <laughs> make a point to have a title. <laughs> but I'm saying it like this, do's and don'ts. It kind of goes back with the first one about letting go of the package. Letting, letting go of your baggage, I'm sorry. Look. You gotta kind of let everybody else know before your current situation, if, if y'all really serious, stop. Because at that point, you in the clear, fellas. As opposed to getting that call and be like, um, let me call you back. Look, huh? What do you mean? Like, let If go. they don't know, if the other girl don't uh -huh. know about your main chick, mm -hmm. and you didn't already lay the groundwork, this my girl. I can't be, you ain't on that level no more, fall back. And they still, now if they still try to be pushy pushy, then that's on them. But I feel like to cover our boop boop, was understood don't need to be explained that's one of my favorite terms oh, okay. look i'm saying it because we kind of had it be truthfully we we had it kind of easy with our relationship as far as that goes so yeah. but i'm speaking on past things because we want to hold on to whatever yeah. if you're not ready don't do it exactly now stop playing it's, it's 2020 man stop playing with each other seriously for somebody get hurt but Remember what I was about to say. Let's go. Why can't a man... Oh, you ready for this? Oh, Y'all ready for this? Women, I know this about to hit home. Why wouldn't we ask for you all cell phone? Y'all guard that like it's or not. <laughs> like, seriously. I'm putting like, my pinky toe. I'm putting stuff. my pinky toe for the fingerprint. You want to know if your man up to something? Ask for a cell phone. Shit. <laughs> Ask for the cell phone. It ain't yours. But I ain't got that problem. It's in a cup. Because I got my husband's password and my fingerprint on there. Been like that for day one. So we ain't had an issue. No, but you got to be careful, women, because sometimes you got two phones. You got to check for phone number one. Wait a minute. This ain't beat up on the main day. We saying do's and don'ts. I feel like you going hard on the meals right now, baby. I'm not. I'm just letting some women know. I know it's somebody that's watching this <laughs> and they just like hmm is he cheating yeah or, i know i heard something else vibrating in the background but i, I was on the phone with you know what look here man me personally if i never did the two phones i went personally to oh that's my cousin <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh that's my this that and third that's that's my boy or whatever the case may be man hold on man i'm gonna tell you like this here. Oh my god. How we get caught, fellas. If everything ain't understood. When we answer the phone, and you know you let that phone ring, you're in trouble. And you don't answer. Facts. You know you're in trouble. Unless you know exactly who that is on the other line. Don't fumble. But that's one of the things how women are more just like man y'all will pick up the phone because we first of all y'all gonna hit the volume like, button so the volume ain't, ain't that loud so you can't really hear who talking first of all y'all gonna get them long ass nails i know that's what y'all get them for y'all can be extra sneaky with them long <laughs> ass nails with them long ass nails that be running to <laughs> <laughs> but no it's He was watching one of Kevin Hart's comedies when he talked about cheating. Men, y'all can't tell a lie. Like, y'all get caught up in y'all lies so easily. 
you pretty much end up telling on yourselves at that point. Women, I think, are better liars. So, what you been lying about? Nothing. Mm. A lot better at it, which means it's gonna take longer to come out. No, you 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 see me doing. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna kick you. I love you. Ooh, whatever, man. But what we talking about is pretty much the common do's and don'ts. Yes. So I would say the third thing is trust. I don't think we we pass like numbers because we've been bouncing around from topic to topic. You're right. So you right. We're just gonna go with next is trust. You gotta have trust in your relationship, and meaning by trust is. Once you get in a relationship, I know that there's times where an ex might reach out to you. Facts. You gotta let that Set ex know. Set the nigga straight, bro. I'm calling my woman, bro. <laughs> you gotta let your ex know you moved on. That's not what you want. Because if it was, <laughs> guess what? You would have stayed. But obviously, you gave them the deuces. So, fellas. And ladies, stay away from the ex. You left them for a reason. <laughs> Let the past. It kind of always go back to the main one because I think that's one of the biggest things people do is like trying to really let go. And it's mainly because either a part of them is telling them, don't commit all the way until you really know what it is. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to this. Ladies, what is the label of being single. Cause think about it. I heard this on the radio the other day. Oh, here we they go. said ladies, and uh -huh. they put the emphasis on ladies, that if they're not, if you don't have a ring on it, shout out to Beyonce, put a ring on it, better put a ring on it, all that stuff. Yes. Cause I'm gonna be real with you. I was with someone and that song came on and they were putting their hand up your head, but I'm like, nigga, you, you ain't single, nigga. Like, I'm right here. But in the, <laughs> in the terms of what they talking about, look, that committed relationship, you do not need a ring. You need a ring for the commitment of the marriage of giving your vows before each other and God. So, yeah. yeah come on. I feel like you got I something just, you want to say. Because I feel like that gets misconstrued. Like. Come on. Women feel like they single because they don't have a ring on their finger. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a committed relationship, that's a mutual agreement between you uh, and your person that you date. It ain't always that, that easy. It ain't, all, to it ain't always that easy, babe. Think about it. I know. How many times, and I'm not saying that you have been messed over, but how many times you thought it was right and it wasn't? Oh. Has been but you get what I'm saying. I'm just putting the emphasis on what I'm saying. Relationships where I thought it was right. When you thought it was right, but it wasn't. But at that time, somebody asked you, "Was you single?" What would you say? Depending on which relationship we gonna talk about, because oh, one of them. Oh damn! I would have told you in a heartbeat. I was single. I was done. Oh damn! <laughs> he was getting cut off. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, he he did some foul stuff. You ain't gonna go to the past because you know I got my king. You feel me? So, Facts. but that's that's why I say you gotta let go of the baggage. You can't bring, I can't bring what he did to me to this relationship. Man, that's, that's a big one. That is a hinder. big, big, big one. Man. I think if I would have brought that, we never would have been where we at now. But you know what? To we be honest, been stuck. I I was victim of that at the beginning of our relationship. I, I scorned yeah. you about. Hold on. Just to let y'all know, my phone is vibrating. I ain't cheating. It's my mama calling. It's say mama and with her picture. You want to answer it? <laughs> I should I know that's it. your mama. Cause I, I answer the phone all the time. See, that's when you're real. When you can just answer, they ain't got to look at it. They ain't going to look at you like... <laughs> yes. I know. It's been people that's been hurt in relationships. If you're a spiritual person... Just pray for God to cleanse your heart mm. so you can accept whatever greatness is about to come into it. That's all I can say. Well, we kind of jumped off topic because it was about the faith, I mean, trust. Trust. 
Me personally, I can honestly sit up here and say is that I believe in trust and mm -hmm. I don't. And I'm gonna say it like this. Trust will not stop nobody or the other person from doing what they wanna do. It's your mindset and what you really want. Yeah. Because if the person wanna cheat, they gonna cheat. You can you can trust that person to to the moon and back. To the moon and back. But if that person ain't on the same level as you or got the same mindset as you, you might as well just, I trusted you. Why you do that to me? But they don't give a damn. Did they really need all that? That's, y'all extra yo. But they love me crazy. It's more than that, you know what I'm saying? But, just, nah, it, Lifetime. Really? Ever since Lifetime, it came up, it's a lot worse. Man, Lifetime don't be doing that. Them crazy women on Lifetime be sitting there, <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> exactly. Crazy exactly. On exactly. Exactly. My point exactly. Yeah. Mhm. Mm anyway. <laughs> you tried it. So what I'm saying is, man, me personally, trust wasn't my biggest thing. At the point in time when this woman came into my life, I just knew from her characteristics to her her will. And if anybody does not know, I'm not gonna tell y'all how. I'm just gonna tell you the time frame. My mother passed in July of 2017. I met her, if not a few weeks, probably a little bit less than a month before my mom passed. And I mean, the wit, the will, the love, that I got from this woman, there's no way I was gonna let that go. There's pivotal times when you meet someone is sometimes means everything. So I'm only saying that to say this, man, look, open your eyes, women and fellas, to understand what you really got. All right, so now we in this mall, man, look, if this ain't the number one thing you don't do in a, in a relationship, any kind of relationship, when you come in the mall, don't give them that good credit card. Little side note, I got all of them already. <laughs> look here, man. See that? Do you see the look on her face right now? How about we go take a look? Look, we're going to show y'all the merchandise we've been wearing. Boom. And we got some t-shirts. We got some hats. And we passed them out for more to do. I know we didn't get that on film, but yeah. we're gonna take y'all to the lady who's been taking care of us while we on our journey. So let's go, baby. Is that your friend right there? Hey, girl. <laughs> What's going on? Are we getting today? We need to put another order in. We yes, do. Because I gave out, we gave out so many in New Orleans. We oh, really, really did. No, seriously, yes, we, did. we did. We ordered what, nine? I think we came back with four. Did they like the multicolor? Yes, they did. I had a lot of people ask me about different colors. Even if people ask me about hats. Everybody wants yeah. hats. Because I know he's wearing his hat always. Yeah, always. Always. So, stay tuned, because I'm going to end up uh, dropping a link within a few weeks on how you can get your hands on the Real Kings Family merch. Yeah, yeah. Done by Miss Maria here. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, drop, drop your info, girl. Go ahead. on time, and yeah, her turnaround time is very quick. Super fast, same day. We have all the supplies. Yes. So, you want to let everybody know where they you on IG? You on Twitter? So, I am on Twitter. I am on Instagram. It's one. <laughs> she photo bombing you. <laughs> it is one designs by M um, on Instagram, and it's Maria Rincon on Facebook. And we are in the little ones mall for the PT upstairs. Check, check her out. Check her out. You feel me? Yes, yes, yes. So we about to we get, get this. Here. Yes, we're about to get ours done, so we can hand out some more stuff and. I tell you what, if you comment below, 
Real Higgs family t-shirt. With that's part two of what t-shirt. Get it. It's all you. What it is. In the comments, and we'll pick three lucky people uh, and give away t shirts. What's your favorite color in it? We're gonna mix yes, your favorite color in the shirt. T shirt next to your favorite color. And if you're picked, we'll go ahead and get your shirt made in your size, <laughs> obviously, and send it to you in your favorite colors. All right, there it is. You need, so. a, you need a comment? Yes, make sure you comment, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and ring the bell. Make sure you ring the bell. Yeah. And make sure you like and share Real Pigs family. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so today, Maria, we've been talking about the do's and don'ts in relationships. So I was just getting ready to ask Maria here, what is her do's or don'ts in relationships? So do you have any do's and don'ts in relationships that, like, yes, is a must? A must or, like, a deal breaker? Deal breaker. So a deal breaker, physically, I really like short nails. Not like when people bite their nails, but like <laughs> when guys have like a nice manicure. Or not short nails, a nice manicure. A nice, I, Wait, do we I have, have to, to get a manicure? Not have oh, to. Oh, okay, because I don't do it. I bite them all day long, girl. Like, you know what? I'm just saying, like, you don't want a man with rough hands to touch yeah. you. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure men don't want a woman with rough hands touching on their Uh, no. You're gonna be like, what is this man doing touching me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> that is one of them. Uh, I like humbleness. I like when men are humble and nice. And that is a very good. Stay humble. Stay humble. Always. Um, what else? And then, a oh, deal breaker is that they don't want coffee. Don't like coffee. Don't like coffee. Wow, that's a new one. I that's guess I can kind of go with that. So if they're not a Starbucker, you ain't messing with them. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love All right, y'all. So we just left from Maria, and we just finished putting our new order in, order in for, for that merch, man. Get some more hats and shirts and stuff like that. But we got another do and don't. Another do and don't, we and feel. Is it okay for you to still keep in contact with all your female friends and all your male friends if you in a relationship? Now me. Uh, <laughs> I know we're gonna get killed with this one. Oh, you best believe it. So if what you, you think? If you're in a relationship uh -huh. and you got female friends, you gonna get cut. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna I'm answer like this here. If me, as of right now, if I do have a female friend, she married. Or if I do, Thanks. like me right now, honestly, I don't hang out with nobody or close or consider nobody my close circle unless they're married because we don't have the same views. You can't have a, a single friend. A single friend. Because all they want to do is go out. You know, y'all have different motives when you go out. I'm not saying y'all can't be cool. It's just you can't be a the man motives are different, man. You know what I'm saying? And look, just hear me out. You out with a friend, she's single, you married. She might be trying to get you to indulge in some things that you honestly can't really indulge into without dipping into the wrong pot, you feel me? So, Obviously. how you feel about that? I feel like you shouldn't have female friends. Like if you're in a relationship, there's no need for you to have female friends. Because you know what? No need, none at all. Hell no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, do I, I do. Need? Wait a minute, hold on. Cause I do, and but they're old. You know them. Okay. From New Orleans, you know them. You met them. You met like their kids. kids, right? But I'm just That's saying. Different. So when you say none, it's like you see, it's cut all your female when friends it's out. more so like family. I can understand that. But if you got like female friends and. None of them are married. It's a problem. Unless you grew up with them and they become more so like friends and your kids look at them like she cleaned that one up good up. Uncle. She cleaned that one up good up. Huh. Yeah, it's no. cool. No, I'm just you. You cleaned it up though. I'm, I'm making fun. But that's not what I'm saying. But it becomes a double standard because is it okay for me to have contact with male friends and then have the kids calling him uncle? Uncle? 
because the kids call, you know. <laughs> you gotta understand where that go friends. because you know, uh, how how the old things say like when uncle, uncle uncle such and such came over, but you know that where that was like your boot thing or something like that, but you didn't want to tell the kids. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I get what he's saying. <laughs> But this ain't 1940s, okay? This yeah, 1940s. They, they, they still do it. They're still trying to pull it off. Believe that. <laughs> you remind me of a... What's that show I was watching? Uh, Shit, I don't know. You watch so many. I'll give you all so full of... Can't think of the name of the that... show. But it's funny. Because in the show, the guy, Daddy, is his uncle. It's funny because... Facts. It's what the hell? Men. It's with Niecy Nash. I can't think of the show. They gonna tell you down low, believe that. No, no, no. It's called Claws. And in the show, Hold Niecy on. Nash. The claws of this video is for you to smash that like button and <laughs> hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can get all the new notifications. Ring the bell. Cause, but, yeah, yeah, all that. But the show is called Claws. And in the show, Niecy Nash, a uh, guy that she was messing around with, his dad actually dies, and his mom marries his uncle. So, on the show, they call him Uncle Daddy. <laughs> oh, my Uncle Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Daddy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know oh, my God. God. <laughs> but you get what she's saying, though, right? I hope y'all do. Yes, and don't go around. <laughs> you talking about kid. Uncle Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> your Uncle Daddy here. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> well, you may be in the cell Oh God. Oh God. Oh man, they got freshness up in there, man. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have the man spring break coming up too. Man, speaking of which, we're gonna do a family vlog on that one next week, man. So make sure y'all yes. stay tuned to that. Man, boy, look, we I got jet skis in my mind, I got a, a cruise on my mind. I might do all of them. What you think? Huh? Um, she ain't know. Look, look, jet ski crew. Yeah, yeah. You know me. <laughs> I like that water. <laughs> you ready to go swim with some sharks? Wait a minute. Uh uh. Nope. No, nope. You, you ain't nope. Got that one. So the next topic is like we okay. We went over the cold, having the cold to the phone. Yes, I think that's important in a relationship, especially if you're trying to grow your relationship. Mm -hmm. it's, you don't have to give your partner your password. I know you still want you ain't some independence. Mine. You ain't getting mine. <laughs> I already know it. <laughs> you ain't getting mine. And my fingerprint is on the phone, so it don't even matter. But all I'm saying is, is that you don't have to give up your password. You can still keep that independency of having your lock on your phone. It's just if your partner grows suspicious. It means you've been doing Oh, okay, okay. She cleaned that one up good. She, I was about to say, God so damn it. So, if they ask for the phone, just do yourself and your partner a favor and give them the phone. But Cut all the, the BS. <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, look, what we're getting into right now is if you're not ready to make that ultimate commitment, don't, look, it's 2020. They're cutting heads off. They're doing all this other stuff. Don't put yourself in that predicament, man. I understand if you're young, you know, getting it in as far as living your life. I understand. And that's, you know, more power to you. But if you're not tired and connected to somebody like that, then go ahead and just have fun. You know what I'm saying? But if you are, just make sure you stay true to them and everything will be all right. All right? Absolutely. So we about to get some more of this shopping and hopefully not spend too much money. So. Until next time, everybody, we love y'all. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell, man. Yes, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the bell. Make sure y'all share and like us. And don't forget, comment below. Yeah. Make sure yeah. with your favorite color. Yeah. And we'll pick three lucky people. And I'll go ahead and send you a shirt. So make sure y'all do that. I yeah. know y'all want these shirts. I know y'all. <laughs> Because y'all always asking me about it. Man, you saw the people looking at them shirts in that yes. Mardi Gras uh, video? Man, look at that. I had people Shit. asking me Mardi Gras. Where my shirt at? Where my hat at? So look. We made the mistake of I'm going. giving them away to three lucky people. We made the mistake of going home and not bringing enough shirts. I ordered shirts for me and my family and we probably came back with half. Okay? <laughs> okay. That's 
So, again, stay tuned, everybody. Peace. Yes.